Mental Work is an art exhibit where we will be running a large scale experiment on brain machine interfaces, meaning that people will be capable to control machines by modulating their brain waves. The subject wears a helmet that has integrated electrodes that measure the electrical activity of the brain and our algorithms decode their intentions to execute movements of the hand even if they simply imagine those movements. And those intentions and their, are then transferred to the machines as commands to operate the different wheels. This is an experiment in the sense that all the data that we will acquire will be made available to the brain machine interface community in order to eventually advance the field. We want also to generate a debate, a societal debate, in the sense that this cognitive revolution that is about to come may have different shapes. And which is the shape that people would like to see? Which is the place of brain machine interfaces, if there is any, in the future? cognitive society. The definition of the cognitive revolution is the fact that we will be in symbiosis with machines through the use of our cognitive capabilities rather than our physical capabilities. That is the reality nowadays. At the Mental Work Factory, we're asking workers to come and engage with machines using only their brain power. During the Industrial Revolution, man was replaced by machines, and now we have the real risk that even man's mind power will be replaced by smarter and smarter machines. So what we want to do is we want to bring back man and his brain power to the center of the technology. That's why we're using brain-computer interfaces. You could lose a hand in the Industrial Revolution. Today that won't happen because you are not in touch with the machine in any physical way. Instead, you might lose your mind. Today, we're even losing our ability to exploit our own mental power because technology is coming and taking over many of the tasks that we normally would use our brain for. We're using our smartphones, we're using artificial intelligence and machine learning. So one way to bring man back to the center of that is to connect him directly with the machines and the environment around him.